When the RBA and government first began tightening the import norms on gold, the idea was very clear to cut down the gold imports and thus reduce the burden on India's current account deficit. As we know, gold contributes the largest uh, after the oil imports to India's total import bill. RBA then linked the import of gold to exports under which only if 20% of the consignment is exported, uh, only then the remaining 80% can be used uh, for the domestic use by jewelers. Such a hard, hard step, it appears that it, is, it has uh, begun taking a toll on the uh, domestic jewelry industry because the availability of gold has suddenly come down there in a drastic manner because India is simply unable to uh, increase the exports as required by the new norms. For instance, India exported only 7% of the total imported gold last fiscal and the RBA norms stipulate it to uh, literally more than double it to 20%, which the industry says is pretty impossible in short term. Uh, such a sh sudden shortage of gold in the market where there's huge demand always means that there is a threat of smuggling increasing as far as gold uh, is concerned. And uh, this can also have impact on the livelihoods of millions of workers because there are many, many small jewelers, uh, according to the Bullion uh, Association, about uh, 10 million workers are associated with about 3 lakh retail outlets in the domestic jewelry segment. So maybe this is a reason for the Reserve Bank and the government to uh, relook at the way they have implemented the norms, even if it is to cut down the fiscal deficit.